in the spirit. I'm telling you, you can join into a pool of joy. Say, because you have loved righteousness and hate wickedness. So God, thy God, has anointed with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. Via intimacy, gladness come. Joy come. As we are in fellowship in service, while the choir were singing song, many of you forgot that you have never even paid your rent. You are just dancing. That's not true. That's the joy of fellowship. The joy of fellowship is the beauty that comes with intimacy. That even if you have been persecuted, you will enjoy it. Learn to spend time with the Holy Spirit. Forget about your disadvantage. Forget it. See, there are times when we look at the things around us, we are discouraged. Highly discouraged. But you must learn to enjoy the fellowship. As I don't land, then my mom called me. Apostle, where are you? I said, I just came home. I'm tired. Even to carry myself is hard. So your sister is sick. I say, hey, where is she? This hospital. I have not gone there yet. I say I will send my prayer. I'm standing here. How many? We were in Abuja. We were in a hotel. One woman just sent her daughter, right? To just get something. Machine came and hit her. Bah! And hit the lady to the gutter. That woman became so destabilized. She fell on the ground. She rolled like this. Say, let the thing kill her too. Kill her with her daughter. I said, kill you for what? How would the thing kill you? If the devil took one, you too, you want to go? How can one person die? You say they should bury you with a blessing. What nonsense is that one? If the devil wants you, wouldn't the devil kill you? Or the devil join both of you together? There is a reason why the devil left you. I'm not talking about God. You can't even see why God preserve you. You are not looking and say, leave me, let me go and die with my daughter. What do you mean? She did not understand the joy that comes with fellowship. If she understands, she will start. I was saying, gone to the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. Horses and his riders, he has drawn into this. There were people that were in sorrow. They were going through pain. They were singing songs. How did they do that? Koinonia. I heard about the story of the man that sang one of those S's and S's. That his family capsized. In the midst of that, he began to sing a song. It's a joy that comes with fellowship. If you don't understand that kind of fellowship, my friends, your joy cannot be full. You will be a sorrowful person. Your name can be joy. You are the most sorrowful. You must value the joy, the presence that brings gladness. See, there are moments and time where sometimes we are just tired. What I came, I lie down, they wake me. I was lying down. When I wake up, I fell down again. I said, but how could they do this thing? When you came, I was, couldn't move. My body was just tired. I know sometimes when you are tired, if you make mistake and sleep, you are in trouble. Better finish what you are doing because when you sleep, you are gone. You will sleep like a dead body. But I knew you. I said, Give me a few minutes. Let me just back upon the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit strength. I beg. I beg. Even if fetch from tomorrow on, give me today. When we enter tomorrow, we'll see how we go negotiate. Well, like I was like, I was my head was tired. See. There is strength that comes from intimacy. That's what I'm telling you. It's, there is a strength that comes. If not, you will suffer. All. Part of the dimension of God that's, is that intimacy. Jesus sometimes was in a situation where he was chattered and battered. Angels have to come and strengthen him. Sometimes the Lord's presence will just come and engulf him. And he will receive grace again. Koinonia. It's another dimension of God. It helps you to share, participate, and join into the fellowship of the Lord. So this thing was from the beginning. It was from the beginning. We have heard about it. We have seen it with our eyes. We have handled it. We have looked upon it. It has become our reality that there is a fellowship with the Father, with the Son, and with the Spirit. You must understand that we are a body of Christ. We are not one. We are an ecclesia. And because we are an ecclesia, it means we have an assembly in heaven. It's possible for you to join yourself with that assembly in heaven. When you begin to fellowship with the Lord, their intimacy. See, 
if you are sincere to yourself eh? when you begin to spend time with God fellowshipping you are going to begin to have encounters seeing other people in your dreams you begin to see yourself among the mission in fact some of you have been seeing koinonia service like this shakaina service like this and akazo service like this all kinds of service like in fact sometimes you even see yourself in another church Ted Bao, uh, Lighthouse uh, any church uh, even your ears you see and coaching and equa you find yourself there and they are preaching although they are not preaching physically but you find yourself there and they are preaching in fact when you go deeper into intimacy you will now find yourself in other region you preaching I'm not joking you will find yourself in a place and you are doing crusade you see people are healed people are delivered sometimes you find yourself standing with the Benahim and as his ministry you are ministering you say ah what is this is what we call koinonia now you are joining together a community a fellowshipping in the spirit you are participating you see joint participation in fact when you begin to spend time with the holy ghost you will literally see me sometimes in the spirit moving together with you to different region many of you are begging me come to my village break an altar go and do go and spend time in koinonia you will jack me like this i will go to a village and break altar and come back there are men that i want to encounter them i have tried to meet them i cannot meet them i gather their messages i gather plenty i was sleeping with it waking up with it sleeping with it waking up they came to me by themselves and they say what do you want i say i want what we have see you want benny you don't need to go to texas i mean where did they where is he now i don't know us right gather his books gather them stay with them pray with them one day he will appear with his gray hair and tell you holy spirit how i welcome in this place holy father i'm not joking you want bishop edible gather those messages she look just gather them before you finish this is like 30 or 40 bishop will appear to you say my son how are you doing say i'm fine you hold your hands and drag you koinonia koinonia one guy every day will tell me he's seen apostle sama say apostle other man he's seeing me he's seeing this one he's seeing that say what does it mean i say how many messages are all you're hearing he said that's my message like 100 apostle other man like 200 apostles I said, this is your problem is that you, you, our messages are in your phones and you are listening too much. So you are attracting too many of us. You are blessed. Continue. As long as God gives you grace. Simple. Is it not better than seeing some cat and dog and serpent and snake? Your problem is you don't have any, many of, no message on your phone now. When we check your phone now, it's Naramali. Oh, Boma Boy. Oh, Davido. For this life a day, I want to be celebrated. Nobody do me timeless, timeless, timeless. You now wonder why you are sleeping. Boma Boy, come. Oh, Davido, come. You call, there is a summon in the summon you. When you gather our message, you dwell with them by default i'm busy but i will appear to you every day every day that's what this thing means koinonia that is a joint participation in the spirit i remember many years ago prophet babs packed this robert Lyadon books if you have ever read my book anyone if you observe i write exactly like that robert Lyadon or that the watchman in I have never read what my name book but he has appeared to me and stay with me dwell with me play together with me if i have ever have a friend in the spirit is that what my name every time and isaiah the prophet as i love the book of isaiah then robert Lyadon. i read every book of robert Lyadon. the same people in every book when i see them i just he literally came and appeared to me literally 
From the beginning of this year, the Lord told me, listen to all messages of Daddy Philip King Abimiko. Many of you don't even know him. If there is any man that has utterance in this world, nobody has utterance like the Philip King Abimiko. Nobody. People don't know him. He's one of the people that strengthened me in the spirit today. For almost a year, every day you always catch me. Always catch me with this message. Many of you, Naramani, Davido, Whiskey, Rihanna, Beyonce, you know everything that is happening there. You don't know what is happening in the spirit. And you wonder why snakes and serpents are coming to you at night. They have not even started coming. Because they are coming, their legions are coming. Because they have a community. They shall soon come. You better find a way you belong. Find a company. Join yourself with an assembly. And be blocked in. Everywhere you are, I can tell you where the assembly of the Lord is. Everywhere. You cannot tell me you hate Koinonia. You can't tell me you hate Apostle Salman. You hate Apostle Arame. You hate Daddy Benahim. You hate uh, Bishop Redipo. You hate Philip Cephas. You hate uh, Michael Robo. You hate Idu. You hate Ephra. You hate Apostle Paul. You hate Apostle Righteous. You hate Apostle. You hate everybody. How you want to take exist? That means you even hate yourself too. We exist by what we call koinonia. No spirit walk alone. Do you realize that? Spirit walk in clusters. Even demons. When you cast out the spirit from somebody, they will go and meet their friends and say, I beg, why are they here? They push me come up for here. But I'm not happy. Come, help me. They will join their hands together and come with seven strength and enter again. If there is unity, it's in the demonic realm. Highest form of unity. If not, how can a how many legions? Eh? 12,000 stay in one person. Haba. Haba. How heavy will that guy be? Heavy. 12,000. How are they staying? How are they staying? Unity. There is so much unity. It's a community. It's koinonia. So that guy by default, I know how his encounter will be at night. It will be like a marketplace. 